Tribulation day 11. <clears throat> I'm still here. We're all still here. The tribulation continues. My tribulation continues. Hey, uh, we had one person put down a comment on, uh, on the YouTube page, but then, uh, that person deleted that comment you know who you are but uh, you know hey it's okay man all comments are welcome whether you agree with me or don't agree with me this particular fool was trying to say that there's nothing abnormal about the weather everything's just fine well you know that may be the case but you know it may also be the case that this guy is like millions of other people out there who uh, you know basically have their heads stuck in the sand that just want to ignore what's going on and uh, you know I'm not trying to be mean but you know the time is coming where you might want to pull your head out of your you know what and uh, you know figure out what's going on pay attention because the tribulation in the long run you know it's going to serve a purpose for those of us that make it through you know it refines our character it shows you know where your heart's at and where your values are you know the thing about time is it's it's a circle man you know, infinity is a circle. But you can draw a line through it, you know, the circle intersects the line. But it's just the nature of time that as we go from one circle to another, one cycle to another, events compress and things happen at a faster rate, on a bigger scale. Hence, the tribulation but you know change tribulation you know it can happen fast or it can happen slow it can happen super slow but you know what that change even if, if it's so slow just a tiny little bit every day eventually the change happens to where you notice it and when you notice it is that these end time periods, you know, when we get to the end and the beginning, because they're both one and the same. But it's a, a transformative period where, you know, those who adapt and transform might continue on. But that's the nature of tribulation, is that the stuff that's really slow, it's easier to adapt to, you know. Maybe that's why we don't notice it, or we are noticing it, but we're just adapting so it doesn't bother us anyway, you know. Kind of like global warming, you know. If the Earth was to all of a sudden heat up, you know, 50 degrees overnight, everyone would be saying, oh yeah, global warming. But because the planet's only getting warmer in fractions of a degree every 10 years or whatever it is, you know, most people don't even think it's happening. So gradual change versus sudden change, like an earthquake or an end of earth event, you know, whatever that might be. And I think we're there. You know, I don't know exact dates of when things happen, but I think we're in that time frame where the tribulation is just, it's escalating. Life is getting trickier every day. And uh, we're being tested, and, uh, you know, it's time to be counted, to know where you stand, to be ready.
you know, big change will hit all of us. You know, a tornado coming down, ripping your house to shreds. <laughs> instant change. Instant re-evaluation. You know, the dollar getting weaker every day, slow change. You know, like, very slow change. But, you know, we're at a point where, <laughs> you know, the news today, they were saying, like, Venezuela, that, that you know, a-hole dictator down there, Chavez is going to cut off, the, you know, the oil to the U.S., you know, normally it probably wouldn't even matter, but right now, you know, it's probably going to matter. You know, as gas goes to five, six dollars a gallon and just, you know, cripples the U.S. economy. But uh, we will find answers. We will find ways to overcome. That's part of what I'm trying to do here, you know, is... Uh, not only to be aware, but to be a part of the solution, to be ready to act, to to be prepared. You know, there's always two options in life. Be prepared or be unprepared. Do something, do nothing. The default solution is always do nothing. <laughs> you know, what's the use? It doesn't matter. And that's fine, you know, hey. But, uh, you know, as things ratchet up, maybe our attitudes will change a little bit. Well, you know what? This is day 11. Life is still pretty crazy out there. Think positive. Think positive with friends, you know? Spread, spread, spread the message that despite all of it there's hope and the hope will be our ability to adapt our ability to to realize that our fellow man is the greatest asset and value that we have around us that people is what matters Alright, take her on easy, get your tribulation on. <laughs>